In this video, we will look at the function of the CPU. Okay, so first of all, what is the CPU? Well, the CPU, it's known as the brain of the computer, um, and its purpose is simply to process data. Uh, now, processing data is things like searching for data, sorting data, calculating, uh, decision making. Uh, this is these are all the jobs that the CPU will do with any data that is passed to it um, and you know it is at the center of absolutely everything that goes on in your computer so you're working on a program the CPU is doing all of the processing to allow you to uh, use the program and for the program to produce the outputs that you want now how does it do that well what it uh, will go through a process of um, fetching data, decoding that data and executing. So it would perform the fetch, decode, execute cycle. Um, so ultimately, uh, whenever you load up a program, it will be stored on the RAM. And that's really important to remember. So your programs are all stored in secondary storage until you double click the icon and it opens up. All of that um, program data is, and instructions is moved to the RAM. And at that point, the CPU can then start working with that data. So how does it do it? Well, first of all, as we just talked about, um, we uh, the CPU will fetch instructions from the RAM. Um, and when it fetches the instructions, it will fetch um, several instructions and then store it in its own little temporary uh, memory storage area called registers. And um, so, yeah, this is sort of showing an example of the CPU asking for some data and then the RAM delivering that data back. So it gets stored in the CPU. Um, now, there are two really important bits of hardware which are used when um, the CPU is fetching data. So the first is the address bus. So the CPU will request um, some data by saying, I want some data at a particular address in memory. And that um, message is sent along the address bus to the RAM. Then the second really important um, bit of hardware is the data bus. Now that is where the data um, is sent back to the CPU from the RAM. So remember those two things, the address bus and the data bus. There is also a control bus, which will just make sure that um, everything is um, ticking over at the right pace. But for, for GCSE, address bus and data bus are the two important ones that you need to remember. So once it's got um, the instructions, uh, the CPU is ready to decode what those instructions are. So that means making sense of it. So the CPU will have its own uh, little instruction set. Um, it will, um, so it's basically got some instructions that it understands. So when instructions are fetched, it needs to look up what those instructions actually mean. And once it's worked out uh, what they mean, then it's obviously ready to do some executing. So executing those instructions. But decoding is just making sense of the instructions. So once it's understood what to do, um, it will actually perform those um, instructions. It will carry them out, it will execute uh, the, the instructions. So executing stage is where the actual processing takes place. Instructions are carried out on the data. And then once um, a fetch, decode, execute cycle has taken place, then another one will take place and then another and another exceptionally quickly. Um, so, you know, you're talking billions per second. So there's a quick summary. Fetching, the CPU will fetch instructions from the RAM. It will then decode them, so make sense of them and then it will perform those instructions. It will actually execute those instructions. Fetch, decode, execute. So what makes up a CPU? Well, the CPU is made up of three really important areas. You've got the control unit, you've got the immediate access store, uh, which is sometimes sort of referred to as cache, um, and you've got the arithmetic logic unit, the ALU. Um, okay, so let's have a look at a few of these in detail. So the control unit. So the main jobs of the control unit are to manage, monitor all the hardware, uh, make sure that data goes to the right place. Um, it'll also manage the input and output signals, making sure that they're dealt with um, in the right way. And it will manage the fetch, decode, execute cycle. So the control unit is just overseeing everything in the CPU, making sure that all the jobs uh, that it's meant to do are performed correctly. Then the immediate access store, second very important um, aspect of the CPU. Um, so this is basically going to store all of the data that is just about to be processed. So when the RAM is uh, RAM de delivers data and instructions, um, they will be stored in that media access store ready to be processed at speed. Um, so one of the reasons why 
you know, several instructions are taken from the RAM to the CPU and stored very close by, you know, in the cache, um, is really just so that the CPU has always got instructions that it can process. It works exceptionally fast. You know, we're talking billions and billions of fetch to code execute cycles per second. Now the RAM, although quick at delivering data, isn't as quick at delivering data at the C as the CPU is at processing it. So by actually having a, um, a uh, several instructions, they're ready to be um, processed, just means that the CPU can continue to work very, very quickly. Um, and then you've got the arithmetic logic unit, the ALU. So this is where all of the um, instructions are actually um, carried out. So this is where the processing takes place. It's where the uh, maths and the logic um, is actually performed. So in the arithmetic logic unit, unsurprisingly, there are two parts. You've got the arithmetic part, which performs the calculations. You've got the logic part, which deals with the logical operations from the instructions. Now, one sort of analogy that I use to try and describe uh, the, these different um, elements of the CPU, um, I often think of it a little bit like an airport. So you've got the control unit, which is a little bit like the control tower in an airport, which oversees everything. You've got the um, immediate access door, which is a little bit like the taxiways where all of the planes queue up ready to, uh, to, to take off. And then you've got the arithmetic logic unit, which is a little bit like the runway. That's where the magic happens. So if you think about it a little bit like that, it, it may help um, understand a bit more how the CPU works. Um, but just as a quick summary, if you were to um, type something into your uh, on your keyboard or click the mouse button, then those um, instructions are then sent to the CPU. The control unit will receive that data and then it might send that data to main memory to be used later on. When the time's right, the data will be transferred from main memory to the um, registers of the CPU, the immediate access store. Um, the data will then be sent to the ALU for processing and then it will obviously have um, an output, a result from the process. Um, and the control unit will send the process data back perhaps to an output device or maybe back to the RAM to be um, dealt with later on.